Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. First time you're passing, you can put the thumbs up, the thumbs down, subscribe, share, mingle with my subscribers and have a little chat. And yeah, um, I've been talking about elaborating on what are essential items for a while. And I thought, you know, I've got a little bit of time. Let me just get it out of the way because it is important. And like I said in a previous video, um, what we deem essential might not be uh, the government's idea of what essential is. And we can get ourselves in a pickle if we're caught on the shop saying, oh, I've run out of butter or I've run out of bread, which is an essential item to you. But it's not essential as far as the definition of the government goes. So I thought I would elaborate on that. So you have a clearer idea of what is essential and also the essential shops. The essential shops are the supermarket, the garages, in particular for key workers. It's only key workers that should be going to garages because they need their cars to get to work. So we've got supermarkets, we've got garages, we've got pharmacies. And um, I don't understand hardware stores. I guess that's like B&Q. I guess, yes, that has to be essential because if something breaks in your house, you're going to need to be able to go out and buy something. But always make sure you have, a, make sure just in case, take a photograph of what it is you're going to go to B&Q or Wix or whichever one of the hardware shops you're going to. Make sure you take a photograph of the fault at home so you've got an image so that if you do get stopped, because people will get stopped eventually, you have something to show exactly why you're going to the hardware store and why it's an emergency and why, why it's essential for you to go out and get it. Um, off licenses. I can't believe that they're under the list of essential shops that are open. What is that about? Off licenses. I can't believe it. I don't understand the logic of an off license being is considered an essential essential shop. I just don't get that one. Definitely not. People have been drinking themselves to oblivion in, with all this pressure going on. Okay, essential art items. Now, what you need to do in order to um, define what an essential item is from the government's perspective not from yours, is ask yourself, is it urgent? Once again, that's relative. What's urgent to you might not be urgent to someone else. And like I said, the rich and the poor, we have different needs and we have different senses of urgency. And what might be considered urgent for you may not be considered urgent by the powers that be by those who are wealthier than us and who can get anything that they want. Um, you also have to ask yourself, can I get it online? So this is about forward planning. Hopefully you're not waiting until the last minute. Are you able to get what you need online? Because this is the push that they're going for. They're pushing for people to shop online. So if you can get it online, that is what they would prefer you to do than to go outside and take the risk. Also, we have to remember that now more than ever, it's 10 days since more or less this, we heard about the coronavirus, and it might be a bit over or under. This is now when the people are, when, um, what do you call it, when the latency period is over, and people are more likely to show symptoms. So you could be around somebody who didn't show symptoms before, and now they're showing symptoms now. So you have to be very careful now more than ever of isolating yourself, especially from anyone who's got symptoms, anybody who does the slightest cough, you know, in business. I mean, it's horrible treating people as lepers and it's a horrible cringing when somebody sneezes because that is what it's got to. It's got to the point where people are actually cringing and feeling remorse when somebody coughs or sneezes. And I mean, they've made so many jo jokes about it, but it's not funny. It's about protecting ourselves. And, you know, people, 
who are coughing and sneezing, now, regardless of whether they self-diagnose it as whatever they want to self-diagnose it as, they should be at home. They shouldn't be at work. They shouldn't be sneezing and snuffling over everybody. So it's unfair when these people who've got the sniffles, they're going to work, they're going to the shop, they're not, they, they haven't got masks on, and next thing you go into a shop and you hear somebody sneeze or cough, and you're like, bloody hell. Thank God now, most of the shops are doing a one-in, one-out. There's enough distance between um, people. But I don't know how far those droplets when people sneeze. I don't know how far they go. So you're there coming home, you know, disinfecting your house, washing your hands, wiping down your doors and goodness knows what else. And you've got somebody bloody sneezing down your neck. That ain't funny. Anyway. Yes, so we're talking about essential items now. Will I be putting others at risk by going out to buy it? And will they be putting you at risk by going out to buy it? Like today, I, I decided to make a cake. A lemon drizzle cake. Mmm, yummy. Decided to make a lemon drizzle cake and um, realised I didn't have no butter without salt in it. No stalk, no trex. Mmm, decisions, decisions, decisions. I won't tell you what decision I made. But my cake is complete and tastes absolutely delicious with a nice cup of tea. Anyway, um, what, else, what else have we got? But what I'm trying to say is that that lard, regardless, that it was essential for me to bake my cake. But it's not an essential item as far as the government is concerned. Okay, um, essential. Okay, I've already said that essential is not butter, sugar, bread. If you're a, if you're a key worker in your car, I've already said that. Things like baby formula that's considered um, that's considered an essential. Maybe Pampers. Now is a, probably a good time to get order some Terry towels. I don't know if they still do them anymore. Back in the day, they did terry, terry towels. And your baby, whatever they did in it, wee wee, whatever. And you'd wash them out afterwards. I mean, we have washing machines. You know, maybe that's the way forward because, you know, it's expensive buying those pampers. And you're not going to be able to keep affording them. They're not always going to be available. So have a backup and get order some terry towels. I don't know quite how expensive they are now. Um... I ain't got no young babies, so I don't really need to be inquiring about that. So those uh, medications, so baby formula, food for yourself and your household, and they're suggesting that you do a weekly shop, write down exactly what you want, um, plan your weekly meals and all the ingredients you need for each meal so you have everything that you need, and then you don't have to go out. That is what they're suggesting. They're suggesting maximum if you're going to the shop, once a day maximum, which is still lenient, very lenient, if you can go to a shop once a day, at least you're able to get out of the house. But like I said, make sure you have your ID, photo ID, whatever, and certain people are going to be more scrutinised than others. So you really have to make sure you are prepared and you don't give the police or the army any reason to detain you don't be giving anyone any lip, none of that. Keep your mouth shut, be polite, be humble and guamble to your business. Go your ways. You don't want to be provoking anybody at this time. This is not the time to make joke. This is not the time to be feisty. This is not the time to back chat. It's just not the time. Okay, so consolidate your groceries where you can. Um, weekly shop, I've already said that. Um, you plan what you need. And as far as essential shopping and essential shops is concerned, I hope that's helped you out a bit to know what is what. Bye.